back once again out here on Mississippi Acres Reserve. Today I'm kind of just going to be going for whatever we can find, maybe get a little bit of everything in the video. Um, right now it's about, I mean it is, uh, white tail drinking time. I'm in the little, you know, southeastern area of the lake was a little more, of the lake, of oh, the reserve, sorry, it was a little more forest and there's some lakes down here. Uh, I've been out here during white tail uh, feeds, like feeding times. Never been out here during their drinking times though, so I'm going to see what we can find out here during their drink times. And, uh, catch you back once we get there. Okay, so after looking around the first lake down here, it doesn't seem to be a whole lot out here. I only got a couple of white tail. Uh, it's two does and one relatively small buck, so we're just gonna take the shot on him. Switching up the loadout a little bit today. We got the Whitlock Model 86 with us right now. Uh, so we got a lever action rifle. A little bit different there. Scope won't go quite as far in. But I thought we could switch it up a little bit. And it seems to have made that first shot at 150 meters very easily. Uh, that is something I'm going to have to keep in mind though. Is that uh, can't really take anything. Any super far shots like 300 meter shots with this. We do still have our 303. Uh, I should put the scope back on there. Um, to make those longer shots. But if we have chances for you know, closer in shots, we're going to go with the uh, the Whitlock on this one. And there's our buck right there. Let's grab him, and maybe I missed something at the north end of the lake that we can see. Ain't not a bad, not a terrible buck to start it off with, as we did get it in the heart and into the left one there. Not a bad shot. Maybe we'll have some better look at the other lakes down here. I might have spoke too soon. Oh, there's a very small buck over there. I'm going to take the shot on him. It's not going to be anything special. Completely. As we drop it again. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I was a little skeptical about using this uh, rifle for this since it's not super powerful don't hit a lot I'm not, I don't use it a lot so I guess I don't hit a lot with it um, but I know especially at least effective range wise it's not going to be as effective at ranges like the other ones are but it seems to be uh, seems to be dropping animals pretty well as we're going to get what is quite possibly the smallest buck that I've seen out here on Mississippi Acres. Look at that. What a monster. That's a picture. That's a picture worthy right there. This is probably just a, let's grab that. Bronze at 104.4. Wow. And we hard shot it easily. Nice. Hopefully, uh, at least with that, there's not much lower we can go than that. So I guess should be only up from here. Let's see what we can get, though. Actually, as we're headed over to the other lakes over here, we've got a little, uh, little black bear here. We're going to see if we can just... Pop that shot in there. Should have gotten into a lung there. Awesome. They were doing pretty well so far, as far as getting multiple species in. I'm not even 15 minutes into hunting, and we've got, uh, you know, white tail and black bear. Let's go see if we can find this guy, though. And here he is. Here didn't make it super far. Decent sized black bear there. Dusky coloration. I really like the dusky color. For an 18, 1.2 below. Pretty, pretty small after that. That decent. Alright. Nice. Um, it's still white tail drink time. So hopefully we can find, uh, find a couple of those over here at this next location we're heading towards. Alright. Got a decent sized buck out there. There's a doe. 
seem to be headed back this way. I, I definitely spooked them just a little bit ago. Uh, I shot a, a doe a little ways back, and they must have been, well, they were probably where I'm standing when that happened. But once that buck comes back out of there, oh, there's two of them, actually. Almost the same estimate. Um, this, this one. Yeah. Oh, hello there. I'll actually take this guy. Alright, that'll bring him down. Another one back there. That one is much bigger. Actually, if that is top of its estimate, that might be, uh, well, it has to be top of its estimate. That does look like a pretty decent sized rack on there. Uh, come on back, buddy. There we go. Yeah, you're fine. Max weight. There's a black bear up there as well. How far out did you get? Where did you get? I just absolutely lost where you were. Dang it. Am I blind? No, that's not him. Is he going too? I guess I'll have to track him. I'm gonna go and find this one that we just took down, and then we'll go track the, the max weight one that was just here. Oh, well, I don't really have to go far to find it. Never mind. Too far back to get into the heart that it would have dropped him instantly. That's all right. Pretty small, pretty small buck there. We're looking, try to get back on the tracks of that max weight estimate level two. Is this the one? Yes, this is. Well, this should be the one. I'm not quite sure where that level 2 max weight estimate buck went, but I went a little ways down and we found these two. I'm going to keep looking for them after I take these two guys, but I'm not quite sure where he actually got off to, unfortunately. And couldn't take a shot on that one because his buddy was inside of him for a while. That was weird. Well, I'll just take the bigger one then. That's alright. And we'll go find the... See if I can't pick up the max weight track again after this. Because I looked everywhere. And I... It, his tracks just went back and forth across each other, so I could not figure out where he went. I got a little turned around actually tracking this one we just shot. There it is, a little 185, a little lower, we would have gotten into the heart there. That's okay, we don't really need to go for just heart shots. Well, it would save me the time from tracking them, since I don't have our bloodhound out here with us. But I'm going to look around for a little bit longer, and I'll see if I can find the track for that max weight. Interesting. Um, <laughs> small little silver eastern cottontail out here. Did not expect to see that out here at all. <laughs> um, nice. So we have another little species to add into the, add some variety into this today. There is our white tail track that we've been looking for. Jeez, actually a perfect timing. Let's see if I can't actually track him down this time though. Is that? Shotgun shot, we just took surely scared him off. Oh, 
Only one way to find out, though. Okay. He just got back here. I was not paying attention. It's not enough. How far out is that? Ooh, that's very close. Okay. Um, zero for 50 meters here. Um, he's going to move in a bit. I don't think the rack that he's at that he's going to make diamond. Unfortunately, that is... Hey, at least he's going to run closer to us for all that. Got into a lung for sure, because he dropped very quickly. Um, let's go grab this guy and see what he was. And his estimate brought him up to 265. Diamond for a white tail is 255. So it is possible, I'm not sure how likely it's going to be, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, I kind of thought that as much. Uh, didn't seem to really have a whole lot going for him. 238.3. He's pretty even at least. Got that. What? There it is. There it goes. Oh, no, there was another one. A couple more. Was it landing? They're both landing. That's interesting. Pheasants are a little weird. Sometimes it feels like they should fly for a while, and then they don't. That I hit one shot of the one way over there. I'd say it's pretty impressive. I know I didn't really give an introduction to this little segment, but, um... <laughs> heard a quail call, and I kind of just ran towards it. Uh, <laughs> and we got... I believe it was five quail. Might have been four. Let's see here. So far, nothing special. I just want to make sure we don't miss any because I, at least personally, have found that it is very difficult to find all the quail that you shot. And right now, I don't have Ernst with me to help me track anything. Doesn't really look like we're missing a whole lot. That was a big hit. But I've got this one and then the one I shot in the distance left, I believe. That one's a goal at 234, though. That's a pretty decent sized one brown coloration. I wonder what a rare color for a quail would be. Now, I haven't, granted I haven't been paying a lot of attention to like community posts and things like that to see if anyone's gotten say like a, an albino or a, you know, whatever other coloration it may be, but I don't know what one would, like if they have any, honestly. Um, the only thing I would say, like an uncommon, is like a the red brown color. I believe, I feel like you don't see the red brown color a lot, as there was a raccoon somewhere. Intriguing. And we're kind of just tracking this quail that, fortunately, we got kind of a poor hit on, so it's just going. And it got to here. Looks like. And there's that red-brown I was talking about. I don't even know if... Oh, yeah, we barely hit that. Yeah, that was a silver male at level 2. Interesting. Okay. That was a lot of fun. Like, uh, uh, quail hunting is just so much fun. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe we'll find... This angry raccoon. Maybe we'll find it. <laughs> different one actually that dropped it where did the first fox we were after go I think this was the first one I have no well probably 
probably that way somewhere. I don't think it's going down. I don't know if that is going to bring it down. It's not a good shot. Clearly. Oh boy. Let's go find the one that we just shot at least. Gray Fox, five point. Ooh, it almost aimed too far back, actually. Dang. Just barely got into the liver there to save that uh, vital organ shot. Nice. I really like the Gray Foxes. They look really cool. Very fun species. Alright. Now, unfortunately, I didn't end up really finding that fox after it ran off. And we didn't really find too much else out here. Uh, on this hunt at least but I'll probably stay out for a little while longer see if we can find uh, this hunt for respawns I guess um, but I think that's gonna do for the video tonight or today I suppose it's night time for me but it's be coming out in the morning uh, so thank you everyone so much for watching if you made it this far I really appreciate that um, as usual take it easy and I'll catch you all next time have a good one